So today's video is going to be on adverse yaw. What is adverse yaw? So adverse yaw is mostly caused by an imbalance of drag on each wing. I have a little bullet here at the bottom because another contributing factor that you may hear of is an angled or twisted lift vector um, caused by differing local AOAs on each wing. So mostly adverse yaw is going to be ex explained by an imbalance of drag on each wing, but you may also hear, and this is very true, of a twisted lift, lift vector caused by differing local AOAs on each wing. So while you're in a bank turn, each wing has a different angle to the relative wind. This causes the lift vector, the lift vectors on each wing to be at different angles to each other, and that also attributes to adverse yaw. Now adverse yaw is, it's adverse to your turn, so that means the yaw is opposite the direction of your turn. So if you're turning to the left, you're banking to the left, the adverse yaw is to the right, so it's the opposite of the turn, and then if you're banking, turning to the right, the adverse yaw is to the left. So when, in, when a banking turn, the outside wing aileron is deflected down and lift on the outside wing increases. So when in a banking turn, the outside wing aileron is deflected down and lift on the outside wing increases. So when the aileron deflects down, the lift increases. And at the same time, the inside wing aileron is going to deflect up and lift on the inside wing will decrease. This is how you turn, right? You're changing that lift factor, you're getting more lift on one wing, less lift on the other, and it's, it's going to allow you to turn in the air. So when we discussed induced drag, now I made a video about this, you can click up here in the top right corner if you want to watch that, it's very important to understand that concept as well. So induced drag, we explained how as lift increases, so does induced drag. So when the outside wing aileron is deflected down, it creates more lift and raises that wing up. At the same time, it's also creating more induced drag. And then on the other side, on the inside wing, it's creating less lift and less induced drag. So as that wing, as that aileron deflects up, it creates less lift, it, the wing drops on the inside of the turn, and then it's feeling less drag relative to the outside wing. So here's what I mean. So in a roll to the right, now these planes are looking at us, so it looks like the left wing, but so, so what does that look like? So here, over here, we have a roll to the right. So the right wing drops because the right aileron goes up. This causes less lift and less drag. And on the left wing, the left wing goes up because the left aileron goes down, creating more lift and the drag will also increase. So this is in a roll to the right. And then over here on a roll to the left, it's the opposite, right? So the left wing is going down because the left aileron is going up. So less lift, less drag. And the right wing is going up because the aileron is going down. So you have more lift and more drag on the right wing. So with no rudder inputs, this imbalance in drag between the two wings is gonna cause yaw. So if you have some drag pulling on your right wing and you know less drag pulling on your left wing that's going to cause the nose to turn towards the right so imagine you know you have two lassos wrapped around the end of each wing tip and then you have two people pulling on those wings we have a really strong guy on the right wing and a really weak guy on the left wing and the strong guy is going to be able to pull more and he's going to be able to pull the aircraft so that the nose turns to the right that's what's happening there's more drag on that side so there's more so you're gonna get yaw to, to the right. So the aircraft will yaw in the opposite direction of the turn because the outside high wing has its aileron deflected down and thus creates more lift and more drag. So the outside wing is going up, that means it's creating more lift, but it's also creating more drag and it's gonna be slowed and pulled by that drag. Okay. So the extra drag on the outside wing slows this wing and causes the yaw towards the outside of the turn. And now you can see here in this picture a coordinated turn, we would have the nose something like this, and then we would have our wings like this. But with adverse yaw, the nose is turning to the right, as you can see, and lined up this way, because this wing right here on the left-hand side is high, so it's getting more lift and more drag, and that drag is pulling it, slowing it down, so you get the yaw to the outside of the turn. Now here, we can go back to our, our roll right and our roll left. 
So I'm gonna roll to the right, the left aileron goes down, so the left wing goes up, causing more drag on this side. So you're gonna yaw in that direction to the, to the high wing. And then a roll to the left over here, you're gonna roll again, you're gonna yaw to that high wing, which is now the right wing. So you're gonna yaw to the right. Now the ball on the turn coordinator slides to the inside of the turn when this happens. So that tells the pilot that in order to coordinate the turn, they should step on the ball or use the rudder on the inside of the turn. So if you're turning to the left, your right wing is going to go up. The ball, so the right wing is going to go up and you're going to get yaw to the right, so your nose is going to go to the right. The ball is going to be on the left telling you to put step on the ball to put your left foot on the left rudder, which moves the nose back to the left to coordinate your turn. So in our roll to the right example, you can see that the right wing is down and the left wing is up. So there's more drag on the left wing and we're gonna get a yaw or a pull to the left. So the inside of our turn is the down wing, the right wing. So we're gonna to wanna to step on the rudder on the right side to bring that yaw, the nose back to the right. Now. It's a little bit easier to see here on this turn coordinator because we're the pilot sitting in the cockpit and we, we're looking out, out the window, we're looking at the turn coordinator so it's not reverse like it is in the image below. So here the right wing is down in a standard rate turn at this tick mark right here. And then our ball is on the right. So we're gonna step on the right rudder to bring that ball back to the center, which actually will bring our nose to the right because we're yawing to the left. All right, now thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, please comment below. And then as always, follow me on Instagram at part period time period pilot where I post helpful illustrations and updates. Or you can follow me on Facebook at part period time period pilot one or on YouTube, which you're on right now, youtube.com slash part time pilot. Thanks.